Yes, yes, yes. Yes. NBA segments. You back. Wow, you back again, man. Let's go, man. Let's go straight to it, man. No intro. Uh, the boy JT, man, led the Celtics in the win in game seven. Oh, we're it's starting game. there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought we were starting the other place. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was getting the sky out my... You know what I'm saying? Say nothing. Go, let's go. Oh, you okay. Start okay. There, He's a bit upset, Charles. So you might have to start there, get out of the way early, you know? Okay. All right, then. <laughs> uh, game five. Jamal Murray and the Joker, Nikola, Lok- Nikola Jokic, uh, was the best of the best for Denver. Murray ended with 26 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists, with the Joker chipping in 22 points, 14 boards, and five, wait, 14 boards, 5 assists, 2 blocks. Wait, uh, wait. Porter Jr. hitting 2 clutch free throws down the stretch. Kawhi with 36 points, but wasn't good enough to end the series. And game six, the same story. <laughs> How did the Clippers let this lead slip away? For the, not once, but twice. <laughs> hey, it's not many still teams a, have lost a three-one lead, you know. Not bro, many teams. Is there still a chance for Denver Nuggets to win this series and got to put themselves in the Western Conference Final? Samad, take it away for us, please. Of course, there's a chance. Um, you're in the game seven, anything can happen. Um, the Clippers have no answer for uh, Jokic. Um, Montrez is too small. Um, Zubox is too slow. He's not as skilled. He's just got so much tricks. He can shoot the three, he can post you, he can do the, hit, the hook shot, he can do the one jump fadeaway. Bro, it's for me. It's just uh, when you get these big leads, what the Clippers are doing is they're not defending. And when you don't defend and they go into the basket and you're fouling them, they're just chipping away at the lead, chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. So if they have a 16-point lead or a 19-point lead, they tend to stop defending, foul them, and then when they go to the foul, uh, the free throw line, they're just sinking everything, bro. And in the fourth quarter, these men are just clutch. They're just sinking everything. I'm like, don't even give them the chance. Like, I'd rather, yeah, the defense play better defense and just just chill out with the fouling, bro. Just chill out with, like, even Pat Bev. He fouled out within 18 minutes. Like, bro, I need you, fam. I need you on the court. You know what I'm saying? Like, but for me, yeah, they definitely have a chance. Michael Porter Jr., Murray... Yo, uh, the uh, the Joe card, Jokic. Um, they got Millsap, Grant. They got a couple guys, Plumley. Uh, yeah. Damn, 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 damn. You're muted, Jermaine. Jermaine, you're muted. I was saying, sorry. Yeah, I was saying they got a deep squad. Sorry, because they play, they play about. They play like a they play like eleven man rotation in the game six. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, another the, the two of them got like less than a minute of play, but you're getting the point. Mm-hmm. Like they're they're ready to they're ready up to by so much. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. you're right. Mm, go on. Go on. What you no, no, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. No, I would just I don't know, man. It just I can see Clippers imploding. They're three one up. Yeah, had the game, basically had the series in the bag. And then it's just lacklustre performances. It gets, we'll it gets, I can it, see the we'll Nuggets winning. The half, as soon as it gets to the you second. Just, like, you can see the up. Nuggets winning. Yeah. Yeah. 100. It's 100. Yeah. And I'm like, a Clippers oh. fan. But me, I'm objective, fam. I'm objective, bro. I'm objective. Like, just because man's a fan don't mean like I'm blinded. So I agree with Jermaine so. Dak. They, yeah, just down the stretch, they just don't have it. It's like their legs get tired. They've had enough. They're not showing that veteranship that I was expecting. Um, oh, and I have one thing to say to Kawhi, yeah? 
LeBron is waiting for you, my guy. Don't disappoint him. He's waiting for you in that conference finals. Everyone wants to see it. But you want to go give it off to Jokic. That's your business. That is your business. That's going to affect his legacy, everything, bro. But it's a shame. It's a damn shame. Uh, I, I don't understand. I really don't understand how they could do this for the second time. I literally watched that game and I was thinking, okay, cool. They've learned their lesson. We'll man them now. We'll man them, man them, man them, man them, man them. Let's not wrap. The Nuggets are the third seed, bro. Yeah, the yeah, Clippers yeah, are the that. second seed. Like, we're making it sound as if, like, these men are the eighth seed. They're the third seed for a reason, bro. You know what I'm saying? And there's no fans, so it just makes it more even, like. You know what I'm saying? And there's no travelling. Um, They've got good guys on defence. They've got guys that can score. Yes, they are three. Yeah. They were 3-1 up, but so were the Utah Jazz were 3-1 up. And they came back. Even the coach, they said that they're comfortable when they're down 3-1, when they're down by 16, 17 points. Because... Yeah. That's what they do when their backs against the wall. They play harder. So let's not act as if like these men are nobody. They are somebody. They are only oh, wow. one seed left. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So but even if they it's lose, it's, a, it's not an excuse thing. But if the Clippers lose, they deserve to lose. The better team won in it. But they're not losing to a bum team. They're not losing to a bum team. I don't know about that comment though. What if Clippers they lose? They actually, lose, fam. Because you do not play well, huh? Clippers, yeah, Clippers are actually just selling it. And as soon as Gary, like, as soon as someone like Gary Harris has came back into the lineup, there's been a big change. They've added a big body, yeah. fence, threes. Do you see what I'm saying? It just it's just having that extra body, and I feel like Denver have that over Clippers right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm stressed, so, boys. Boy, I understand. It's it's a fifty fifty for me. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen in game seven. Um, game seven. So we'll see. And we'll talk about oh, it after. You in the fight in the playoffs. You think you you see in this? I'm upset. On the right side, uh, the Lakers. They turned uh, eleven point. They turned an eleven point halftime lead into a twenty six point advantage going into the final period. And cruise to the series, clinching the victory. James Harden had 30 mm-hmm. points, six rebounds, five assists, leading the Rockets. Westbrook also produced 10 points, six assists, and four rebounds. Oh, four rebounds and two steals. But the king, King James, uh, with 29 points, 11 rebounds, and seven assists. Even Kyle Kuzma, finally, he's doing something. Uh, took yeah. part in the show with 17 points, uh, four boards, and ended the, and also to end the. I don't know about uh, about um, AD. AD is a bit quiet for me, but um, end of the game with 19, nine, what, 119 to 96 to the Lakers. Now they advance to the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 2010. Um, uh, this question I had was uh, had in my head was thinking is uh, what did we learn from the matchup and what should the Lakers take from this series into the Western Finals uh, Samaj um, the matchup I was, it was always going to be a tough matchup um, I feel like this has proven that Big men are still needed and required in the um, in the game of basketball. Thank you. Um, it's also proven to me that you live and you die by the free. But I called it. I said that Westbrook needs to play out of his skin in order for them to even have a chance. But they were getting yeah. blown out. The Lakers scored their most threes they've ever scored in a playoff game. Uh, so they turn up big when they need to turn up big, unlike the Clippers. Um, Kyle Kuzma, very yeah, yeah, Kyle Kuzma. Again, he just he's just so up and down. But when he turns up and he's their third option, it's going to be difficult to beat them. Um, and for me, yeah, the Lakers are favourites right now because they're just getting the job done. They're not expanding too much energy. They were they were deep enough to not play their two other centers for big mm-hmm. minutes in it. Mm-hmm. So they played AD at the five, 
and then they had no answer for them apart from the first game. The Rockets were close, but apart from that, they got blown out. And the, the Lakers just did what they had to do. They were the better team, and they showed they were the better team. And uh, King James, what can I say? He he's ex- he, he he showed his dominance. He's still the best mm-hmm. player. Um, and I must say, defensively, uh, he played out of his skin. He played. He w- listen. You see Westbrook. Uh, he was on him like a like a like a like a rash. On him like a rash, bro. Every time he tried to lay up, Bron is there saying, nah, not in my house, not tonight, bro. At least one, like, and he just, and I think he just lost heart because he knows he can't shoot threes. And if he goes to the rim, Bron is just going to be like, nah, be easy. So I just think he just lost confidence. And then, yeah, it, it didn't help the Rockets. Yeah. That was a boring series for me. I said it from when, when, when they, when they, when it began, it would just be—it would be easy. I said it from—I mm-hmm. said it from the beginning. I said that small ball shit ain't gonna work. I said them living dies by the three is not gonna work. Such mm-hmm. an all-round team like the Lakers at the moment. Like you're thinking, listen, look at look at game five, yeah. <laughs> James Harden has thirty points, bro. Yeah, the second highest scoring player in that game was Jeff Green with thirteen. Safe. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. In your <laughs> win or go home. Match. This is how you're playing. You've got your second best player with 10 points. Yeah? In 35 minutes. What, what is the efficiency? <laughs> Four for 13. I'm off. I don't even... Don't, don't, it's boring now. Do you know what I'm saying? And I said it from the jump. I don't even think I watched the game. I just knew it. <laughs> I, I don't think I watched the game. Like, it was just... It was evident. It was evident. Your tallest man. Uh... Your tallest man. Six eight, get get off. Six seven, get off. Yeah. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, mate. Okay, so what would you think they should take on? I mean, must, the, the question what I said. Uh, what should the Lakers take from that series into the Western Finals? That it was um, easy. No, no. They they should just try and take the the defensive side and mm-hmm. the consistency of always having a third person turn up because in the fifth game, I believe, no, the fourth game, I believe Rondo turned up. In the fifth game, Kuzma turned up and Caruso. So there was always that third option turning up. It might not have been the same guy, but someone was always turning up. Whereas before, um, it was just AD and Bron and that's why they were Mm -hmm. losing one game. You know what I'm saying? But whereas if they have the third option now, and then everyone else chips in with their five, their six, but that third option is still getting you more than 15 points, you're good. You're, you're in the game. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, the defensive side and then the, the consistency of a third player turning up. Mm-hmm. I think it's, yeah, I think it's not just from a third, but it'd be good to just have a third, but the, efficient, the, the offensive consistency from the whole team. Mm-hmm. Like, six players had double digits in their last five, their final game against the Rockets. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Their whole starting eleven plus their sixth man, which was Kyle Kuzma, mm-hmm. which we respectively highlighted. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was a good all-round effort for them, and it was just like boring, man. Like and they should be able to just take that confidence to say, "Yep, yeah, we've taken a team out of the playoffs easily, yeah. and we move." That's it. They can just take the confidence because the rest of it, I don't think they learned much against the Rockets, man. The Rockets just it was a boring, man. Boring. Uh, uh, Eastside. Uh. I was saying this before, but we got cut. I had to change it to the get the suffering out of the way. So let's get, let's get back to the boy JT. Led the Celtics in the win in Game Seven with 29 points, 12 rebounds, seven assists, one steal, and a block. With with the help of Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Kemba Walker, all putting in the work in. With the score, Celtics 92. The Raptors 87 advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals to play against who else? Jimmy Buckets, Miami Heat. Jimmy Buckets. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so uh, my question is, uh, what 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 do we expect from the Celtics heading to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Miami? And um, my second one was, um, could they knock down the Miami the mighty Miami Heat? You want to start, 
Um, yeah, sorry. What we're expecting from the Celtics, mm -hmm. honestly, I expect them to slow down the game a bit. Because I, 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 I fear, I, I was scared for them at one point against the Raptors. Um, at one point, they just couldn't get it together in the final quarter. Raptors was, was applying pressure. You had the season vets like Kyle Lowry turning up. Um, Fred Van Vliet showing what he could do. Of course, we already know about Siakam. He played absolutely pants. He needs to do better. He needs to come back next year and improve Car. That was a disappointing performance from him. Um, yeah. And then the, a lot of the games that I saw and that and actually watched, they were just forcing it every time. Forcing it, forcing it. Give it to Jalen, force it. Give it to give it to Tatum, force it. Give it to Kemba. Kemba's a bit different though, isn't he? Like cardiac. Man got that, you know what I mean? Got that over a deck, so it's a bit different. Bit more of a seasoned player, but at the same time, him, he wasn't he wasn't consistent this match in this series. He's hitting six points in certain games, and he's meant to be there. Really, for me, personally, he's meant to be their season leader. So hopefully. They gain a bit more confidence to slow it down. The worst thing is Brad Stevens is a madman coach. He's got the plays written up. Why do these men have to then find find a reason to go do an ISO? Why? 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 Like just because you've got tired legs, you can't be bothered. But no, course, but you've got to give the Raptors they got a good defense, man. I I know, but of course it showed tired legs because how many of their how many of their games the series went to OT? There's a few, you no. Know? Yeah, there was a couple still. Because one went to two overtime, you know? Yeah. See what I'm saying? You think you're yeah. playing strenuous. So, mm -hmm. I get it. I get it for them. Do you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. yeah. they, they need to just take, they need to take what they've learned from that series, the previous, beating the previous champs and their experience and take that into the next game. Because Miami Heat, they've got the win for me. I've got my money on Miami, Miami for this. They're going to the playoffs. They got playoffs? They're going to the finals, sorry. Uh-huh. Um, for me, I feel obviously the Celtics, they're a very good defensive team. Um, they are a good offensive team as well, but I just feel like you just sometimes when a team doesn't perform well, you also have to give, even though they won the series, you have to give the other, um, the other team on the other side credit because mm. the Raptors are defending champions, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like they're exactly. going to go down with a fight. And that is with one of their best players, if not their best player, not turning up. And they took it to a game seven. You know what I'm saying? So... Go last season as well. Yeah. So I just feel like... He, he, all they have to do is, again, like Jermaine said, slow it down mm -hmm. and execute. That's it. Execute. I, I feel like the right. Heat are not as good defensively as, um, as their actors. They're not as good defensively now, but they have a different type of like they will. They have a stronger mentality than the Raptors. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna feel mm -hmm. like yeah, we can beat them. Jimmy buckets is gonna be Jimmy buckets, and you see that boy Tyler, H E R R O. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a rookie, a rookie shooting like that. Nah, no nah, fear. No fear. Keep on down. Um, Eddie Bayo. You know, they got Crowder, Shooter, sorry. No, not Shooter. Um, Crowder. Is that his name? Crowder. Jay Crowder. Yeah, Jay Crowder. Yeah. Um, They've got uh, Nunn. They've got Adebayo. In fact, that team is all right, you know, but I can't, I can't go, I can't go against my Celtics. That team, yeah, is just, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to go with the Celtics for this one. Simply because I just feel like my boy JT, he, he's going to turn up, man. I'm expecting him to turn up. It's his time. He's next. Jason Taylor. Ah. I really hope the like Bro. You see the mentality of Jimmy Buckets? Oh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But bro, I think going to be get seven games as well. Fam, who don't want to see the Lakers versus the Boston Celtics, bro, in the finals? Sure, this is going to be yeah, like, That's a classic. Bro. Classic, Classic. Thing, but I feel like might, the the the, the um, they might be mismatched, bro. The Lakers against the Boston Celtics might be a mismatch, bro. Because you got Bron and AD. Who's gonna stop Bron? Who's gonna stop Bron? No one. Yeah, no. So I don't see I don't see the Celtics doing well against the Lakers. That's what I'm saying. Who's gonna stop AD, bro? Yeah. 
Honestly, it's gonna it's Miami finals, and they're gonna give they're gonna give Lakers the problem. They're gonna give Lakers. You think? You think? What? I, said, I personally it. think yeah. If the Lakers get to that finals, they're Kate walking. They're, yes, they're yes. walking. Walking it's apart. It's going to be a breeze. No. It's going to be a breeze. Yeah. Sweet. If they get Celtic, Any team. I even, but I just, I just can't see who, who on the, on the Heat or the, 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 the Celtics. So what do you call it? The Celtics that can match Bron and AD. Whereas if it mm. was. What's his Jimmy Buckets and Bam Adebayo. What are you talking Whoa, about? Oh, stop it. Come He's on, too man. Bam, what do you mean too small? Too small for AD, they are too small. For come Don't on. hurt my heart. Man. Come have on, you man. Seen, come have on. you seen... They're the not, they're not matching. Play, bro. He's yeah, a, I've, seen, I've seen He's one of the best defenders in the league. Let's not, let's not, let's not get there, yeah? Bro, and then you've got he's Bam not Adebayo doing it, playing out of his socks. A 6'9", 6'10", centre, getting rebounds like he's seven. Low it. Come on. Against, against, against AD, like, bro. Against AD, AD bro. Bro, AD, consistency. So I've got oh, a question. Is consistency wow. when it comes to I it, hear yeah? you. I hear you. I hear I you. I hear you. But if he turns up, but if he turns up, it's not even a conversation, my guy. Bro, it's finals, AD bro. I know these men are got, these man definitely going to turn up, bro. They're is. definitely going Please, to turn up. Bro, you still have Adi, um, Andre Iguodala. What did Andre Iguodala do against LeBron? Why did Andre Iguodala yeah, no. get... Finals MVP over Steph. MVP, yeah, I know. Are you forgetting what he did to Andre defended. Iguodala as well? I'm asking you though, why did Andre Iguodala get finals MVP as over Steph Curry that year? Why? He defended him still in the finals. He defended him in the finals. That's different yeah, now, know, but it's a different I know, story. I know, I know, I know, I mean, do you want to forget? Are you forgetting that famous block, fam? Bow, fam! Straight and got the ring, blood. You see no, that? I've seen it before. I've seen it before. I've never seen Andre Iguodala win a finals MVP before until that season. That's what I'm saying. It's calm. He's not doing it again, though. So I'm... It's, it's fine, fam. We no, know Jermaine, I feel like you're trying to... Jermaine, I feel like you're kind of turning me towards your side, you know. Get the hell out of here, bro. 100. Get the hell out of here. You have, He's you have a season doing play nothing, like bro. all the tragic. You have a season okay, play like... Okay, fine. Keep, you know what it is? Yeah? You have, the, you have the rookies, Duncan, fuck, mm-hmm. Tyler Hero. Then you have Kendrick Nunn. They're young, energetic players. Then you have the, 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 the experience of um, Andre Iguodawa. You've got someone like Kelly Olenek that can spread the floor. Jimmy Butler that mm-hmm. plays with heart and vim and pushes the team to do more and more. I think they are deeper than the Lakers, though. I think deeper like, as in that the second unit is better than the Lakers' second unit. You know what I'm saying? Lack experience. Apart from Andre Iguodawa, yeah, their second unit, lack experience. That's about it. Yeah. But other than that, if they've got... Like, Jimmy Butler's the type of guy that... The just reason he had, he had issues on the previous teams he was playing for. That's why he had issues on Timberwolves. Yeah, Timberwolves. That's why he had issues. yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he comes in and he's just like, big man, we got to play hard. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he comes mm-hmm. to a team now, yeah, with young, bright stars, and he's gone, listen, we can do this, yeah? Mm-hmm. Look at where we are. Let's continue pushing and working hard. You know that's going to be his words every day, mm-hmm. yeah? And then you got Andrew Goodell there, like, I've got, got my ring, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? This is what we spoke about in the locker. Here's the... Ex- it's more... It's just... Mm-hmm. I don't know what's mm-hmm. got that far. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just the heat. I, do you know what I mean? They don't even feel like an underdog mm-hmm. to me. I'm not gonna lie. Lakers, <laughs> Lakers. Listen, Lakers are five. <laughs> you're mad. You're mad. You're mad. We'll you're see who gets to the finals you. anyway, because they might get knocked out by yeah. Denver. So. Mhm. Nah, no way. No way. Huh? No way. Nah, this is fishing, no man. Way. Stop that. I don't even know why we even even. <laughs> How am I fishing when it's just an opinion? How am I fishing? It's possible. <laughs> You're capping, bro. You're capping. You're definitely capping. You're capping, bro. It's not happening. We all know that's not happening. It's cool. Anyway, let's focus on the Clippers. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey <laughs> let's, wait, listen, let's get back to reality now. You are uh, leaning one way all the way. You see, Margie, what he said earlier about the Clippers maybe losing. You, yeah, you can't even see it. No, it's not happening, bro. No, nah, because me, I'm objective. This guy is not objective. He's blinded, fam. I'm not blinded, blinded fam, bro. This guy, he's a, he's a Bron lover, fam. Do you know, fam? Hawkeye, fam. We got this. We're, we're, looking for that. we're looking for that. We're looking for that trophy. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that trophy. Now listen, it, I hope it's the Clippers Lakers finals, though, man. I hope it would just be the finals that everyone wanted to see. You know, like that. It can only be the uh, conference finals. It can only be conference. It can't be playoff finals. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's oh, what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Conference finals. Yeah, yeah. I hope for that. Hey. Yeah, man. Let's move. We'll see. Hey, man. 
It is what it is, man. Go away, go away, man. Hey, we're gonna end it off here, man. Yeah. Fine. No, no, no intro, no outro. Bless everyone. Safe. We're done.